Hey guys, how you doing? Ear juice. Uh, so, I finally set up my new keyboard stand. So I could put all of my hardware into one big setup that was nice and neat. Uh, so let's go through it. I've got my VT3 over here. That is just uh, my main mic. Condenser mic is plugged into that. Then I've got a Roland JDXI that's also a vocoder with keys. So I've got two vocoders because I love them. I've got my new Novation Base Station 2. And then I've got uh, just the sampler. Now, really, I use the sampler to uh, plug into um, the vocoders. So I'll actually go into the input, like I'll plug it actually into there, and then I can vocode uh, audio clips. So I can take the SD card out of um, the sampler, just plug it straight into the computer, and then load up my own um, samples with audio. Like I've put Alex Jones into the sampler at the moment. So I put that through a drum, mach drum machine, then bounce the loop so I know it's perfect and it's all in time. Then put it back in the sampler, run it into the vocoder. And then everything is going through a four channel mixer. And then I'm coming out with stereo and going into my little Roland sound card. So. I don't really record in stereo, so what uh, when I do make um, music, so what you could do rather than going through a mixing desk, if you've got two keyboards, just uh, have one as your input, first input or left input into the sound card, and then make your other your right input into the sound card, and then the audio is going to be different. Um, okay, so. MIDI and Reason 10, and can you use the new uh, scales and chords and other features that are in the players section within the rack? Yes, you can. And you can use the external MIDI instrument uh, to run different keyboards. So I'll show you. So this one here, is my bass station that's the sound at the moment that's the rolling that's the sound at the moment now what i am doing is i am going out just one midi chord you don't need two you don't really need to send midi to your sound card so you want to go one midi chord out of the sound card and that is coming over to here and yes, I need to manage my cables a bit better. We've got a MIDI solutions. So this is uh, going, that's going to the sound card. It's coming from out of the sound card, going in. And then we've got one going to each keyboard. Now, the great thing about this box is that it sets up the MIDI channels for you. So the red MIDI chord, that's going to be uh, MIDI channel 1. This is going to be MIDI channel 2. And so, I've got the red one going into the back of the Novation. The other one going into the back of the JDXI. But, I have got all my audio going through one um, mixing desk. So, it's only one audio coming in. So, if I try and play both keyboards at the same time the audio is going to mix together over the top the way to get around that of course is as i said before just uh play record in mono and have one keyboard going into one input one going into the other with your audio channels or audio tracks so with your midi here is uh my midi instrument i've set up a players and um scales and chords thing but if i trigger the keyboard which i'll do now you can see it's not affecting anything now first of all notice how that is uh midi channel one 
So that is doing the novation. If I change this up to MIDI channel 2, um, then that's going to be the Roland keyboard. So, how do we get it to use scales and chords? Well, it's easy. You can use your MIDI keyboard now to control uh, your hardware. So, have it set on MIDI channel 1 for my Novation. Here is my keyboard down here. There's no little Novation thing. I love it because it just sits perfectly on my lap. And now... That is triggering the novation. But if you notice, let's see. I just need to set it up here. It will so you can set it up so that your MIDI keyboard is triggering the scales and chords from the Novation synthesizer if I try and hit the synthesizer not gonna work but if I hit my MIDI keyboard it will work. All right, now let's go up to MIDI channel two. And now I'm gonna do the same thing. Hit the rolling. Nothing happening. Let's hit the MIDI keyboard. And the me keyboard is triggering scales and chords. Now, uh, just remember, if you're not too used to MIDI, when you are setting up MIDI, you need to set up the MIDI instrument like I have, but then you also want to set up a uh, audio track as well and just have that for your input so that you can hear the sound. So it's sort of two different instruments when you do play it. So, the only thing I need to do in my setup that um, would, because I've got the mixer desk, is really only record one keyboard at a time. So, I only use one keyboard to record the audio because I'm setting it all for a mixing desk. As I said before, if you want it, really wanted to, because you're recording in mono, you could just make these two inputs. One input would be the Novation. One input would be the Roland, and then you could do both at the same time and have the audio coming out of both uh, live. But that is how you do MIDI. Um, MIDI, it's quite fun. You can actually experiment quite a lot with it. If uh, I know there's actually a MIDI channel 3 for some reason, so if I hit 3, I'm not sure where that's triggering from. But you actually, you can get other stuff. And I need to go through the manual to see which mini channels are signs, which knobs. Um, but yeah. So yes, you can use scales and chords in re with uh, that is in Reason 10 to trigger external hardware. It's just a matter of tricking your um, external hardware and not playing the keys on the external hardware but instead playing them on a MIDI keyboard and just having your MIDI set up. And then uh, if you want to have more than one keyboard, making sure you've got a little uh, MIDI solutions box. That was a one in, four out box. Cost me about a, a hundred bucks. And that will also assign the MIDI channels for you as well. So the one, two, three on and so on. I think that is about it. Alright guys, I hope you like the new setup. It's pretty cool.
can't wait to play around with it. Um, just being busy, that's the only problem. Have a good one.